Hi, uh, in this video, uh, I will talk uh, some basic concepts that are extremely useful for understanding econometric methods. Uh, the first is a random variable. A random variable is a variable that can take uh, as many possible values in an experiment. For example, uh, we conduct an experiment uh, of In, in, in rolling a die, a die has six different faces, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and any one of the faces can appear when we roll a die. So if we define the x variable as x as the number turned off in the experiment, the value of x can be one, or can be two, or three, four, or five, or six. So it is a random variable. We generally denote the random variable by capital letter X, Y, and etc. A random variable can be uh, distinguished between discrete and continuous type. If a random variable can take some finite values, it is called a discrete random variable. For example, the number of children in a family. So there is a finite number of children that can be counted easily. And on the other hand, if the random variable can take an infinite sequence of values in the range, it is called continuous random variable. For instance, the weight of the children. So the weight of the children can be, for instance, 15.1, 15.2, 15.11, So there can be an uncountable sequence of values between 15 and 16 pounds. So the weight of the children is a continuous random variable that can take any possible values within the dance. So the third concept is probability distribution. This is an extremely important concept for understanding the probability distribution, sampling distribution and other stops. Probability distribution simply refers to the values of the random variables uh, along with their corresponding probabilities. Uh, we distinguish between two cases. In case of discrete random variable, uh, the probability distribution is simply a table or a formula that shows the values of the variable along with their probabilities. For instance, the probability distribution of the number of heads appeared in the toss of, sorry, uh, the probability distribution of the number appeared in the toss of a die can be shown as below. So the random variable takes the value of 1 when the phase 1 appears, 2 when the phase 2 appears in the die, up to 6. The corresponding probability associated with each value is 1 by 6 in this case because each face is equally likely. So this is the probability distribution of x. Since this is discrete, we can represent the probability distribution in terms of table. On the other hand, in case of continuous random variable, we cannot make a table because X can take an infinite sequence of values. So we express the probability distribution in, in the form of formula or equation. We call it the density function, also abbreviated as PDF. For instance, uh, the probability density function can be uh, expressed as f of x equals 3 over 8 x square and this is defined for the values of x uh, from 0 to 2. So here also this function shows the probabilities uh, but not for specific values of x but for a specific range of x. For example, if we sum this function uh, by using integration from 0 to 1, it gives us the probability of x from 0 to 1.
next we move to expected value the expected value is simply the average value of the random variable just like arithmetic average of frequency distribution it is the average or mean value so we again take the example of the probability distribution in case of the roll of a die we have six values of x and the corresponding probabilities the expected value is simply the mean value uh, and is defined as summation x times probability of x so this is simply x times probability of x 1 times 1 by 6 plus 2 times 1 by 6 3 times 1 by 6 up to 6 times 1 by 6 and this is 3.5 In continuous case, uh, we need uh, some knowledge of integration to find expected value. Uh, expected value of x is defined as uh, integration x fx dx. So the concept is quite similar with uh, discrete distribution. Here also this, this works as summation summation in continuous case so x and this fx works as probability of x so the concept is almost the same the only difference is in the operator here we use integration operator because x has an infinite sequence of values so for instance if the probability function is uh, 3 over 8 x squared we calculate the value of x as expected x equals to integration x times fx. So this is fx, which is the probability density function, x times uh, fx dx. So we can take this 3 by 8 out of the integration sign, since this is a constant, x into x squared becomes x cubed dx. So now we use the rule of integration so the range is from 0 to 2 the range is from 0 to 2 here also the range is from 0 to 2 so we, we, we use the rule of integration the simple rule power rule of integration the integration of x cube is x of 4 over 4 and we use the range and the expected value appears to be 3. So the next concept is variance and a standard deviation of random variable. Uh, it is also the same as the variance and standard deviation of frequency distribution. Variance of x is defined as simply expected value of x squared minus mean of x whole squared. And the standard deviation of x equals uh, square root of variance of x. So to find the expected value of x square, so we simply multiply x square by the probability by the corresponding probability. So this is x square times x square times probability of x. And it's a summation over the whole range of x. So this is for the discrete case. We find expected x square by using this formula: summation x square times p x, and we subtract the square of the expected value of x, and this gives us the variance of x. And if we take the square root of variance of x, it gives us the standard deviation of x. Our next concept is. Uh, about the rules of expectation uh, the first rule of expectation is that the expected value of a constant always equals the same constant uh, this is because if we have a series of constants say 5 5 5 the mean value will always be equal to 5 so the same concept here expected value of a constant is always that constant and the next rule is expected value of ax is always a times expected value of x for example expected value of 3x equals 3 times expected value of x 
the next rule is uh, expected x plus b equals a times expected x plus b for instance expected value of 3x plus 5 equals 3 times expected value of x plus 5 the next rule is variance of a constant is always 0 for instance variance of 5 is 0 because the value of the variable doesn't change from 5 uh, it is quite intuitive that its variance is 0 the next rule is quite important and is often used uh, variance of ax equals a square times variance of x for instance variance of 5x equals 5 square times variance of x which is 25 times variance of x and the last rule is if we have two random variables x and y variance of x and y variance of x plus y equals variance of x plus variance of y plus two times covariance of xy so we will discuss about these rules later in the next video uh, and for now if x and y variable are not independent uh, variance of x y is given by this formula when x and y are independent covariance of x and y will be zero and variance of x plus y will be simply variance of x plus variance of y only. Thank you for watching this video and please uh, watch the next video for a few more concepts to understand the econometric methodology.